guys serious talk we have a serial killer in my aquarium Welcome back to the channel. Um, behind me, there's a serial killer. Um, this fish has killed more fish than any fish I ever ever owned. I am tired. I don't know anymore what to do. Um, I'm desperate. I need your help, pretty much. Okay, so it started about. Let me see. About in February or January of this year that my, hold on, <laughs> the Eccleston Spillum, this guy, began killing everything in my tank. Um, number one victim was Sweet Pea, which was a Uaru. She was a big female Uaru. She was actually the boss of the tank, but she was not aggressive at all. Uh, then... It killed smaller Oaros. It killed all my four baby Oaro Fernandenses. Uh, as time went by, it killed a um, Vieja Argentea. Um, it also killed a Black Belt, Vieja Black Belt. The latest murder was on uh, Vieja Percy. All were like six, seven, eight inches fish. I am so pissed. Um, so I thought maybe it's the aeration. I jacked up aeration like crazy, like, excuse me, but like there is aeration in this tank. I completely rescaped. I mean, like I rescaped, I added hides, I did everything in my power. I don't know anymore what to do. Uh, so I'm like, okay, it hasn't killed anyone in like a, maybe a month or so. Um, I got in uh, from a, a shipment a uh, Vieja black belt 8 inches about. I put her in. I completely escaped that very day everything, which is like not even two days ago. When did I receive? I received on Saturday morning. Uh, and now we're on Monday. Um, so I completely escaped the whole tank. I added so many greens on the top, on the bottom. And right where I put the fish, um, since Billum started getting mean with it. And not like I didn't see it bite it. It was just following and flashing his, um, like his jaw. Like it was inflating the jaw and just going like this, like this. Um, so, yeah. And uh, this morning it was flipped in the rocks. And I, I don't know how it does that to like an 8 inch fish. What's going on? It's the same size as him, you know? So I put it right away in the tank next door. I'll just flip it around and show you uh, what's going on with the tank and what I did to it. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, let's continue it. Uh, flipped here. Um, I'm proper pissed. Like, this is not like a happy video. I'm proper pissed. Uh, I managed to save the fish. She's uh, in my Geophagus tank. She's big. She's like a really big fish. I hope you can see. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid the flashy lights and everything. Like she's a proper big fish, same size as this serial killer right here. Like the only one it hasn't killed yet in the Sinspillum is this one and the smaller Sinspillum right here. Um, but let me show you the tank. So I completely escaped. I added some pots, I added aeration, I added a ton of plants, I water changes, I feed them twice a day. I, I, I don't get it. There was plenty of spaces for a new fish to hide and yet it got kicked and flipped in that corner this morning. and. I rescaped everything the same day and I added the pots yesterday and the carnage keeps on coming like who's gonna be next to die in this tank you know why why is he doing this I don't understand like he's about two years old now and it even killed its mate like the black belt vieja was his girlfriend they were breeding 
I'm sorry. They're starting to do uh they're cutting the grass outside. I hope you're okay with the noise. Um maybe I can pause this. Hold on. So as I was saying before I just started cutting my grass, um this uh vieja black belt, the female that was killed in this aquarium uh about a month ago, um she was actually his girlfriend. They were spawning in that corner right there. Over and over, they were spawning together. And all of a sudden, I come home on the weekend and she's flipped and dead. So, I honestly, I don't understand it. I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried everything. Um, it just sucks, honestly, it sucks because this was supposed to be my 150 gallon vieja aquarium, Central American aquarium. And now he's killed absolutely everything that made it a Central American aquarium. Like all my big, beautiful, healthy fish were killed every time I come back home because on the weekends I'm usually at uh, my country house. Every time I come back home on a Sunday, there's like another vieja that's dead or another big fish from Central America. It sucks. I don't know what to do. Can you guys help me? Can you tell me what to do? Like, I've tried everything. The tank is pristine clean. Uh, they're fed diversely. So many foods, frozen food, uh, pe pellet food, everything. Uh, I hope you can see it's a little bit reflective, you know. Like, I do my 110% for this aquarium. I put so many hides and everything. Uh, by the way, these bubbles are on only during the time that uh, the light is on. So it's about just six hours. It mimics natural flows of water and stuff. It oxygenates super well. Like, at some point, I thought maybe there's not enough oxygen. They're just killing each other for oxygen. Maybe the tank's too small or something. But it's definitely not that. There's something else, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just... I'm bad fish but then again this one also teams up when there's carnage going on they, they both team up on the weak ones and then this big bright one beats up this one but hasn't killed him yet so I don't know I need help I, I really need help I'm glad this one she's safe now but then again it's too big of a fish uh, it's hard for me to show you she's in the back there and there's reflection it's like an eight inch fish in my angel fish in Joe Fagos aquarium. It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be in the Central American aquarium and I cannot put it there. So now I am stuck with a fish that will just stay with smaller fish and has potential to eat them. I don't know. I'm, I'm really discouraged and yeah, basically. That's a sad video. I know it's a sad video. Um, but I really need your help because what am I going to do? Rehome him? It's a beautiful fish. Like, it's my biggest fish, you know. And I don't, I don't want to necessarily rehome. I just want to fix the issue. Like, what else is there to do, you know? Um, like, I want to keep this fish because it is a Central American aquarium that I wanted to create and keep. Uh, but if they keep dying one by one, murder after murder... I don't know. I don't know what else there is. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll update you when there'll be some updates to be done on this. Hopefully positive ones. Alright, see you soon guys. Bye.